Okay, new Fox 15 in. Made in the USA, something you don't see very often. Let's see what we have. One propeller purchased uh, separately. Uh, instructions, parts list. Say we required. All right, so this is a Fox uh, 15, it's a 0.15 cubic inch. Uh, it's destined to go on a uh, junior ringmaster. Now, this is a control line engine, uh, has no throttle. You, uh, you start it, it runs wide open until all the fuel is consumed. Uh, this is a little bigger engine than uh, the ones we've been flying as of late. Uh, we've been doing some uh, stuff a little 049, so you can kind of see. Uh, by comparison, this is considerably larger. Uh, the engine that I flown the most was the old Fox uh, 35. Now here's one. Uh, this is from uh, the 70s, but you can see uh, it's a tad bit larger uh, than the uh, than the 15. So the next thing that I'm going to have to do is break this engine in. Uh, whenever you get these, they're a little tight, uh, so you need to run them, and uh, it's a good idea to put a little extra castor oil. Uh, in the fuel, so I have some uh, some fuel here called stunt fuel for doing stunts, of course, uh, and uh, some extra castor oil uh, that I'm going to add to that. And I'll also have to build a uh, a test stand, uh, mount the engine, and uh, I have a little uh, fuel tank back here to uh, uh, give it some fuel and uh, let it run a, a couple of tanks through. Uh, run it very rich with uh, extra cash flow and get it broken in. So uh, that's the next step. So off to build a test stand. Okay, built a test stand out of some scrap wood back in my shop and uh, added a little small fuel tank. Uh, took some fuel, added some extra castor oil to it for the uh, break-in period. So now we're going to see if this little guy will run. We adjusted the uh, needle valve to about uh, five and a half turns out uh, which should run it fairly rich. I had a few drops of uh, fuel down the carburetor for a prime. Flip it a couple of times. Alright, let's see if it'll fire up. 